don't know what is going on. The weather yesterday was lovely. Now look at it. Open that window a second. Oh. It's bloody snowing. I suppose this is the UK after all. You couldn't expect anything less. So I think John's inside. Looks like the quad bike is just out there warming up right now. Lean out again. The lights are on. You can't really see very much, but he's definitely got his quad bike on. So I'll just wait here until he comes out. He's probably having a nice cup of tea. Warm himself up. Oh, Jesus, John. you got to stop sneaking up me like that. Morning, sunshine. How are you doing? I've seen you bring the good weather of you today. Yeah, I know. It's bloody horrible, isn't it? It's lovely. I love a bit of snow, I do. Come on, then. Switch that engine off. Out you get. You're the boss. Where are you? You can barely see a thing. You need to get some lights outside your house, John. Yeah, yeah I'll keep it in to do that. It's a new one, though, isn't it? It didn't come with the new lights and all. Okay. So what's the plan? Well, like I said, on Tuesday, we need to go out, check on the cows in the morning. Uh, I really meant to bring them in, but we're out sort of quite full at the moment in the main barn, so they're out in the field at the moment. Uh, if the weather keeps like this, we might have to drag them back in and just cram them in. I keep meaning to get a shed built out in the field as well, but it's just been, you know, very busy at the moment with COVID and all. Uh, time to get any contractors in and finish off jobs I meant to do a couple of years ago, so Word down, might jump in the back then You what? Jump in the trailer I'll take you down there, don't worry, ain't too far Are You sure it's safe? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, jump in Okay I'm holding on Yeah, don't worry, I'll go nice and slow for you Won't be long, don't worry Still alive back there? <laughs> yeah, so there Bloody cold though, hurry up. What do you mean hurry up? Go get the gate, boy. Alright, alright. Hey John, where are you going? John! I'll see you over there! Bloody hell. That wasn't even that far away, I could have just walked. Why is it turn the lights off for? John! Turn the lights on, I can't see anything. What? I said turn the lights on. I'll do it. Couldn't see a thing. Oh, sorry. I always forget to turn them back on. Well, here we are then. This is it. The cow field. So we've got six young effers in at the moment. What we do is come out in the morning, check the feed. The hay's pretty uh, topped up still because there's only six of the girls at the moment. As I said, I need to get a barn built on here for this weather. If not, we'll bring them back to the yard and get them somewhere. Worst case, we'll put them in the pig barn. Just so out of the way. But the snow doesn't usually stick around here. It usually passes in a couple of days. It's usually just slush and ice. So what I do, come out every morning. Check the water's all good. Make that our feed's topped up. They've got lots of hay in there at the moment. Grass fed these ones. And then obviously... In the winter, give them a bit of extra bulk, a bit of hay, and uh, that's them settled really. Got here like a little water tanker, just give it a little top up. Any muck in there, just get it out, or replace the water if you need to. Okay, sounds simple enough. But well, the cows seem to like you as well. Normally they run off of newcomers, but they seem to be quite comfortable around you. Must be a natural. Well, I hope so. Unless I want to get crushed by a cow. Morning girls. So what have we got here then? A couple of Holsteins. Is that uh, Angus as well? Yeah. So we've got a uh, couple of bulls. Sometimes we've got one in there. Other times we lend her out to uh, other farms around the area. One of the bulls is out at the moment. So uh, we get a mixture of Holsteins, Angus, generally. Um, yeah, I'll explain later on properly sort of the rotation of how the stock works. And what we do with the cows. Um, it's quite simple, but it just took a bit of explaining. We'll do it over a cup of tea later on. So that's it, really. If you go and top that water up, look. Yeah, we'll do.
There we go, I think that should do it. Yep, yeah. the hay's looking good as well, but I've got some new bales in, so we'll have to come out when it's a bit lighter, we'll top the hay as well. At least we can be munching on that for breakfast. So is that it, really? Yep, yeah, that's it. First thing I do every morning, get a bit of fresh air, come out and check the cows. Any questions, boy? No, I'm pretty happy. Uh, at least it's a nice routine to keep going. Something to do every morning. Lovely sunrise as well we've got coming up. Yeah, it's like the farm We're up on the hill up here, so it's quite a nice view. Right then, jump in. I'll give you a lift back this time. Did you close the gate, by the way? Oh, I'll go. Hang on, let me just go close it. Where's my phone torch? There we go. Can't see a thing. I'll just stand here in case the cows come out. Hopefully none have escaped. Let me just check this road. It would have gone too far. I think we're good. I'll just wait here till he comes down. Alright, I'll see you back at the farm! Make sure you count them cows! Is he for real? He's gonna leave me here. Can't even see where I'm going. Where's my phone again? Hang on. Ah. Right, next time I'll close the gate. Let's just close this one quickly. I'm counting these bloody cows now. Right, there's one there. One Holstein. Let's get his jog on, pretty cold. There's two Holsteins, there's one up there, one there, there's one Angus. There's six, if I recall. Come on, cows! Cows! Might be feeding some of them. Right, there's two brown ones there. So there's one, two. Three, four. There's got to be two up here somewhere. There's five. Why is that a sick one? Another Holstein. And six. There they are. Right, they're all still in the field. That's good. Uh, another lesson learnt. Always close the gate. I'll remember that next Tuesday. Well, I guess I'll be walking back now. Just the last thing I need, isn't it? Hopefully I don't get run over. I can hear something coming. What is that noise? What the hell is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bloody salt spreader. Lucky I moved, isn't it, in that lay-by. I'm in muck on the floor right now. Looks like he's going to Mole Valley. Wow, well, that's a close call. I guess John was wrong. Back in the Met Office, must be expecting some heavy snow. They're out with shed and salt. Where's he gone? Down there, I'm guessing. They've gone to resupply salt, maybe. Anyway, let me just keep to the right in case someone else comes flying down. I don't know what John's up to now. Probably inside the house having a cup of tea. What's going on now? Who's this? That's nice John. Hey, there he is, look. Enjoy your walk back. You mad man, you almost got me killed. The bloody salt spider's out. You almost knocked me down. Oh, that would have been unfortunate, wouldn't it? It's the last thing you need on your second date. Yeah, well. What are you doing anyway? Oh, just getting the old the old girl fired up. Come out every day as well. Turn her on. Get the engine running. Oh yeah, she'll probably end up dying now, wouldn't she, rusting away? Yeah, well, hopefully I'll sell her soon. Did you get many cars up this way? No, not really. It's a back lane into another farm and it's a dead end, really. Now, you might want to consider moving it down the town or something, so people can see it. Oh yeah, but then you get those bloody hooligans down in the town and vandalise the bloody thing, wouldn't they? Well, you never know. I'm sure uh, they won't do too much to it. There's much more we can do to it, but is there? Uh, Boy! I've told you about that. 
you be nice to this car. Anyway, you're not exactly driving the most uh, luxurious one yourself, are you? Do you want to swap, do you? Do have a little car like this, a little run around. Well, for that thing. Um, no, I think I'll pass, thanks. Not really my style. Oh, worth a try at least, wouldn't it? Anyway, what's the next job? Well, come inside. We'll uh, grab a cup of tea. Oh, don't worry, I've got some coffee for you. Ah, oh, legend, thanks. And then uh, we'll talk about the cows. Once it's a bit lighter, we'll head out and do some yard work. Sounds good. Are you making them a meat? Oh, that's a silly question, isn't it? Right, do us a favour, lad. Jump in that jag, turn the engine off, will you? I'll get the Ford. Wow, this is uh, pretty old, isn't it? Let's turn this one off. Get the lights. Cheers for that. Right, I thought what we'd do is... Oh, look at that sunset, actually. Sunset, John. Sunrise. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. Beautiful, isn't it? Come look at this. I love this view, I do. I'm glad we moved up from the old barn. Uh, yeah, let me just close this gate. You couldn't really see much from down the old barn because the uh, Mole Valley farmers was in the way. But now you can see all over the valley. Quebec Valley, lovely. Yeah, it's pretty nice. How come you moved up to here anyway? We got the old barn. Oh, story for another time. Long story, that one. No worries, I uh, won't ask too many questions. So I thought what we'll do, well, it's nice and early. And uh, with a little bit of snow, hopefully most of the cars should be out staying in. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a uh, familiarisation on the McCormick here. I thought you'd driven some tractors in the college. But we'll jump in this one. Uh, we'll go for a little drive down to the uh, shop. Have some pastries for lunchtime later on. Okay, sounds good. Right, up in then. Right, budge up then. Are you going to sit there, are you? Yeah, don't worry, I'll fit in there. Been in plenty of times, young lads. So as I said, it's a McCormick 105. This one's on loan from the college. Obviously I do this every six months. I get a new guy come in. So they let me this tractor and I can teach you some things as well. Obviously it's all well and good doing it in the college and in a nice safe area. But when you've got real hazards and people in and out of the farm and tight spaces, it's a bit different to the uh, college. Yeah? So it's worthwhile getting in now, driving around new areas, getting used to reversing trailers and all sorts of implements yeah into the fields onto the roads yep yeah that's good actually it's good that you uh helped me out as well all right so first thing then fire up as i mentioned she's well maintained well looked after any maintenance we send her straight back to the college and they get it done for me they was in about this new gizmo this gps thing at some point on the roof but for now, this is what you got. Right, first things first then. This is your one. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic, I know. But you might need it. Right, your lights then. Turn them on. Very good. Right, this one here, look. That's your front work light. You shouldn't need it today. But if you want to jump out and have a look. There you go, look. Lights on the roof. This one here, that's your rear one, on the top look, nice and easy, rear work lights. Hazards, obviously this one here, put them on if you're reversing into the field, and obviously your indicators are working, yep, very good. That's your full beam, there you go, and your work lights off. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah, seems uh, pretty basic. Right, this one here, it's an automatic gearbox. You've got drive, neutral, and reverse. All you've got to do is just basically accelerate and go back and forth like a go-kart, yeah? No fancy gears in this one. 
like the case next door you've got loads of gears to go through but uh, this one very basic stuff you happy yep I'm happy right, we'll go out of here we'll take a right down to the bottom of the yard now you probably think I'm teaching you to suck eggs but I'd rather you be confident and I can sign you off saying that you're confident driving this tractor nice and easy just down the track yeah you can put away quite good this one I think it's about 100 horsepower something like that so it's not a small one at least in my terms anyway for this yard it's always a bit bumpy down here I know you've been down the Merlot but the tractor's always a bit bouncier where's Bob today I wonder do you not bring him the house? No, no, no. Don't bother in the house. Get bloody fur everywhere, won't he? I'm sure he's around somewhere. I need to feed him when I get back as well. I suppose he's not in the water. So if you go out here, look. I'll get that for you. I'll keep saying it, but it's a lovely view, isn't it, that? Right, go left here, look. There's another entrance into the farm. This used to be the way deliveries would come, but they got a bit touchy about that as well. I didn't want to come down this way. So now it's the top of the farm, like I mentioned on Tuesday. Nice little field here. A bit of grass in here today. Grows there, look. Mind the quote. Right, jump out, got the gate. You're sat right there, John. Yeah, I know, you get the gate, so. Yeah. I know I said this morning, close the gates behind you, but for now you can use one open, okay? We're back in 15, 20 minutes or so. Mind the post as you come around. Don't worry, you get used to that corner nice and easy. There we go, right now give it some acceleration. So this is pretty nice to drive, this is actually. Not too bad at all. What have they got at the cottage now then? Uh, a couple of Massey Ferguson's, a John Deere, and a couple of other things. Uh, JCB's. Oh, better than I had back in my day then. Used to have the old, old, old stuff back then. Yeah, I bet. When was that? 1940s? Oi! Enough of that, boy. I'm only 45. 45? Come on, tell me the truth. Right, right, I'm 52. Let's keep that between me and you, shall we? So I passed through this on my way to work. What is this place, anyway? Oh, this is a big commercial dairy farm, this is. Bloody, they're not too bad guys at work here. It's a shame all the local farmers are getting pushed out by these big farms, but they're nice lads and ladies up here. They do a good job. Uh, I've got a couple of contracts in them as well with the cows, so we look after each other. Wow, the size of that silage pit there, look. Yeah, she's pretty big, that one. Nice massy as well, over there, under the shelter. So they're getting low, though. Yeah, she's a pretty big farm, this one. Big sheds on the right here as well, look. Loads of big kit in there. Cattle trailer. Oh, mind where you're going. Look where you're going, boy. But, yeah, it's a big farm. A big commercial farm, that one. No farmhouse up here anymore. Used to be a big farmhouse here and a local farmer, but he's uh, moved on to greener pastures. Yeah, it's a shame, really. Obviously, these uh, locals get pushed out, but... That's the way it's going, isn't it? The world demand's getting bigger. People need more production, more milk, cheaper. People always want cheaper as well. Yeah, oh, no, tell me about it. Every year these prices go down for us. Costs go up to keep the farm maintained, but we've got to sell for less. It's a bloody extortion sometimes. I don't know how we survive. I 
How far you come then in work? Uh, it's about an hour, so. Yeah. I thought I'd come this way though. I come from there. Past the little sheep farm. Straight down the road back there. Oh yeah, I know that one. Good family up there as well. Good sheep farmers. Be in season soon as well. Lamb in season. Early spring. Is the uh, is the pig farm I sent you about the ones that got some issues at the moment? Uh, I used to get the piglets from them when they was born. I'd raise them up and then send them back when they're a bit healthier, a bit older. But, uh, fortunately, like I said the other day, that's on pause at the moment. But it's a good family farm. This one, good bunch of farmers, pig farmers. They got some straw as well. They sell sometimes to us too. So yeah, a good, good bunch. Up on the right here, you've got the local horse trainers. All the young ladies in here normally. I like this guy past here now and then. I bet you do, John. Let's keep that between me and you, shall we, do? No horses out? Nah, they're probably all in shelter at the moment. Back at the main barns, taking shelter from the snow and the cold. Is that another farm there as well? Yep, yep, that's another farm. That's the local arable farm. The only one in the area, he's got a combine, he has. Does all the fields around here. Uh, again, nice guy. A bit grumpy sometimes. A bit like me, but he's pretty nice. Alright, put you in the getters on. Going left here, yeah. Nope, sorry, we're going right. Let's go right. Make your mind up, John. Bloody hell. Yeah, you clear left. Right, go, go. Whoa, bloody hell, where did he come from? John, he said it was clear. Sorry, couldn't see him. So where are we going then? Just on the right ear, look. Pull up right ear. The fisherman. Grain cell. Yep. Yeah, nice little business this is. Still got a little cafe inside. They're open nice and early as well. Just spin around. Can I go over this? Yeah, I don't mind about that. Just go over that. Yeah, they sell some grain down here every now and then. And a nice little family run cafe. Just put up here alongside the house. There we go. Good work. Oh, mind the flowers. Alright, good driving that, Jamie. Good job. Alright, shut it down then. And let's head inside. Get ourselves a nice little pastry. Oh, tell you what, it's nice coffee in there. Nice little croissant I got as well for my lunch later. Oh, good choice. I've got the old Pono Chocolat. Oh, yeah. Be careful, though. You want to get some diabetes from that chocolate. Oh, bit more um, past that point now. Right, fire up then. Uh, you can leave the lights off for now. Sh should be alright. Back to the farm then. Yep. Well, I ain't gonna speak this time. You just drive us back, and I'll see how we get on. Okay, I think that's the first time you're gonna be quiet, isn't it? I ain't seen nothing.
Alright, not bad driving that. Not bad at all. Alright, I'll get the gate this time. I'll meet you up there. Yeah, thanks. That wasn't so bad. Nice little drive in the tractor. Nice and easy as well. The gears on this are quite simple, so... Relatively straightforward. I'm sure it might be a different story when I start getting these things here attached, though. But yeah, nice little drive in the morning. Uh, so much for half work and long hours. What I've done so far is have half days and could get pastries. But like I said, I think he's trying to use me in gently. I think he's being a bit nicer than he normally is for some reason. I don't know if Bob's around actually. So uh, he got me a pastry. I'll jump out and uh, get some feed in Bob's bowl for him. Bob! Where are you, Bob? There we go. Good boy. His balls are as well. I wonder where he's off to. It's not on the water. Bob! Let's see him. There he is, look. He's come for his food. Hello, Bob. Where'd you come from? You been in the slurry pit again? Hey, boy. Morning, buddy. How you doing? Oh, that's a good boy. So I'm not going to throw your ball. I'm told not to. Right. One more. Oh, good boy. Right. Find out, Bob. I don't want to run you over. That's the one thing I said, Bob. Come on. This dog's mocking me now, isn't he? There we go. There's John walking up. I guess I need to slip for that gap there, look. Right, I'll go straight forward then, and then reverse in. See how you get on reversing it. Should be relatively straightforward. I was going to do it in one turn then, but went a bit too narrow. Shut this one down. Oh, not bad. Don't worry. If you practice turns, and you'll be in that in one turn. Trickers. Go a little bit wider, look. Mind the flowers out, and then ease it in nice and slow. Well, right, how'd you find that then? Yeah, it's a nice little drive that, and really nice to drive. I just say so you know, I put some food in Bob's bowl for him. He came running out the bushes. Uh, he's happy as Larry now. Oh, that's good then. I thought he'd got drowned or something in the slurry pit, but at least he's alive. That's the main thing. Yeah, that's always good to know. Well, it looks like the snow's almost cleared off. Look. Oh, I told you, it never sticks. Them bloody gritters always out. But no point is there. Uh, well, a lovely day again, look. You wouldn't think it was snowing this morning at 6 a.m. If it happened, people get out of bed at 8 o'clock in the morning, won't even know there was snow. Yeah, true. People aren't used to uh, 2 6 a.m. are they in one day? Yeah, that's the truth. But then they're missing out on these glorious sunsi sunsets. You mean sunrises? Yeah, oh, I'll keep saying sunsets, and I? Oh, it's my old age, you see. Okay, no worries. So, what's the plan for now then? Right, head down, get that uh, straw bale, get the pitchfork out, and just get that spread in the yard, will you? Have you seen the cows yet, actually? No, you haven't shown me them yet. Not these ones, anyway. Oh, I'll take you down. The, the ball's in there, so just be careful it doesn't get too feisty, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, there he is, look. There's the ball. Got his head in the wall. As always, always got his head against that Warriors. So you got the ball. And the young heifers in here, look. Mind the ball, he's alright. Oh, hello, boy. Yeah, give him a bit of space. He's a bit temperamental, that boy. But yeah, here you go, look. One, two, three, four, five little heifers. Like I said, we're trying to get these pregnant at the moment, so... They come in here, get preggers, once they are, they'll be in here for a little bit and then we'll send them up to the field, out in the pasture and then they'll uh, drop, drop some little calves, calves get taken away after a couple days and then the uh, cycle continues, the girls stay out in the field for most of the summer and then once they're out pregnant again, they'll come back in here, meet the bull and basically we keep doing that, in and out, in and out. Uh, obviously, some of the girls we kept, the ones at the top there, with the uh, in the little shed. We milked them, we milking, but these girls here look after their calves for a couple of days, and then we take the calves. And the cycle goes round and round, basically. Oh, that sounds pretty simple, so basically you're like a breeding sort of cow farm. Yeah, pretty much. We'll breed a few. Once we've got a few uh, breeded, We've got enough cows, we'll sell them off either to the dairy farm next door or to the local neighbours and the local counties. Just depends what after really. Next door tend to take the Holsteins and we've got a couple of Angus and have some beef cattle as well we'll sell off. He's a beef boar obviously so uh, it all depends on what comes out really. Hopefully we get Holsteins because it's a nice short journey for them. Ah, seems pretty simple. Yep, yeah, but like I said just get the pitchfork, get the dirty bedding out, and then put that fresh bed in for me with it. Yep, I'll get that done for you. The cows seem to like me as well, so hopefully they, uh, I don't get a horn in the gut. He's a pretty big boy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big boy, that one. He's a good breeder, four years old now. Going on five, so a few years left in him still. Well, I'll close that door before they get out. Okay, anything else after this? Uh, not just yet, mate. Just uh, head up and see me at the house once you've done that. Okay, well, thanks for taking me out on the tractor again. That was a good little trip. Now, I'll see you late this, late this morning. Yeah, I'll catch you later then. Ah, uh, right. Not a bad morning again. There's a pitchfork there. I'll grab that. Get this straw in. And then just give it a bit of a rake. And the shovel there as well, look, so... I should see me through, and uh, I'll go off and see John later on. Nice and easy.